in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, a reading rainbow. <laughs> a reading rainbow. Hi, I'm the barber. And today, we're going to study some good old fashioned Tennessee barn dancing with our friends here in Smiley Hollow. How you doing? Hello. <laughs> Why don't you all introduce yourself? Well, sir can do. Well, my name is Craig Duncan, and this is the Craig Duncan Band. Ah. Now, what kind of music do you all free me? Oh. Wow. Mm. Uh, what, what kind of music do you all um, play? Uh, well, here, we like to listen to what we call our bluegrass sound. Oh, and, and can any song be performed in that style? Free me, I say! These chains ain't right for niggas! <laughs> you will pick in any nigga! What you want you to just go and ignore me? But nobody ignores me. Who, who, who are you? I am the man of the Mundinkas. I am the one who could not be broken. I am Africa's son. I am Kunta Kinte. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Am you? Bill Nye, Mr. Rogers, Steve Irwin, these individuals have been idolized in the world of television cinema for their careers as educators spanning across decades. However, there is one host whose impact on the education of children, specifically black children, often goes unnoticed. LeVar Burton, best known for his roles as Kunta Kinte in the TV series Roots and host of the PBS series Reading Rainbow, Burton often speaks of managing the duality of his two most prominent roles. Caught between reaching new heights as a TV educator and remembering the communities and struggle that fostered his growth. For any black body functioning in white spaces, especially in higher education, this dichotomy is all too relatable. In our push for upward mobility, we often have to ask ourselves who or what did we leave behind along the way? So for the use of season six, episode six of Reading Rainbow, and twice as high by Levi Wainwright, a celebration of LeVar Burton in our black duality. What? Look, I don't have time for this. There's a difference between choosing to leave home and never coming back, LeVar. Look, I'm in the middle of an episode. Boy, it's time that I take you back to your roots. Where am I? <laughs> and why does my voice sound like this? <laughs> Boy, it's 1966. What? You nine years old. You, you, you know what? You better change me back right now, or else I'm gonna. Oh, oh hell. <laughs> Did you do your homework? <laughs> Boy, what is the rule in this house? You either read a book. Oh. Or you get hit in the head with one. <laughs> you got my ass. My ass. Boy! My butt. It's gonna get in touch with literature. <laughs> You're damn right. And don't be making no faces neither. Stay up all night, reading, 
planning. Yeah. You know, my mom used to always say that they were more than just words on a page. They were a way out. And you made it. Shh. Out. <laughs> and when was the last time you walked on them streets, LeVar? Or oh, called your mama? Oh, now, wait a second. Look, look, I love my mother, okay? And look, I know that she did everything that she could so that I could be successful. You still don't get it, my brother. You still have much to remember. Wait, wait, where are you taking me? To the day you created me. Mr. Burton? Um, hi. Hi. Um, my name is... LeVar Burton, and I'll be auditioning for the role of Kunta Kinte. Okay. The floor is yours. Fiddler, these chains ain't right for niggas. Kunta has to be free. Help, help Kunta be, be free. Uh, thank you. Um, Unfortunately, we're looking for something a little bit more. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 I'm, 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 I'm so sorry. Uh, can, can I please try again? Okay. And in that moment, you dug deep. You thought about the blood and the sweat, the creases in your mother's hands, so you burnt me from your mouth and said, these chains ain't right for niggas. Kunta has to be free. Help Kunta be free. Wow. Um, thank you. Brighter, my voice began to fade. You made it, LaVar, but what did you lose along the way? Wait a second, I haven't lost anything. And now you preach on education, all while trying to forget that my back was cracked open, stumbling over their syllables. Mm. How could you forget that some of us lost limbs for learning anything but our new names, LaVar? Do you think that this shit was easy? All the sleepless nights, the weight of knowing that I had to work twice as hard, be twice as talented just to get half of what they had? So no, I'm not gonna apologize. Because everything that I did, I did for me, for my family, for my survival. Since when is your history just something you have to survive? You no shit about my history. Your Boy, you go learn your name. Wait, what, what, what are you doing? What is your name? LeVar! No! Who are we? I am LeVar!
Mr. Burton, we're ready for you. Back on the I can be anything. 